You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. The risk prevention team of the Avsara Authority has taken wooden scaffolding to immediately support the first ceiling of the southern part of Angkor Wat after some parts of it were affected by heavy rainfall. EAC News reporter Dekanin has the details. The Avsara Authority announced on Monday afternoon that due to a number of natural factors such as rain, wind, heat, plantation growth and age, some parts of the Angkor Wat temple structure are at risk of damage. The first ceiling of the southern part of Mongol Wat, which is 100 meters long, 5 meters wide, and 7 meters high, has now been temporarily blocked off by risk prevention team. The Deputy Director of the Department of Water Management, Forestry and Infrastructure of the Abstract Authority, Sokso Setla, has said that the main aggravating factor causing weakness of the Mongol Wat structure is the heavy rainfall over the past few weeks. He said, in the last two to three weeks, it has been raining heavily and water is pouring into all parts of the first ceiling in the southern part of Angkor Wat, affecting the foundation, causing parts of the ceiling to move, the walls to lift, and the beams to begin to separate. He further added, due to this problem, the risk prevention team has taken some wooden scaffolding to immediately provide temporary relief to the structure while awaiting the recommendation of the ICC Angkor Committee on what to do next. In the past, the risk prevention team of the Abstract Authority's Department of Water Management, Forestry and Infrastructure has extensively studied a risk map to determine the temple locations that require intervention to prevent any problems from occurring. The Abstract Authority added that its risk prevention team is planning to work on strengthening the beams, pillars and roofs of the 38 more temples in the Angkor Wat complex. Dekanin, EAC News.